वेलकम इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ परसेंटेज एरर न फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज परसेंटेज एरर परसेंटेज एरर इज मेजर्ड वैल्यू माइनस ट्रू वैल्यू बाय ट्रू वैल्यू इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट न सपोज यू हैव गॉट अ वोल्ट मीटर एंड यू आर मेजरिंग voltage across a load is equal to 100 volt that means 100 volt is the true value of that particular load now the voltmeter whenever it's used to measure this 100 volt value of load then it is giving value of 110 volt that means 110 volt is the measured value now our percentage error will be like 110 minus 100 divided by 100 into 100% that means 10% of error now if the voltmeter reads 80 volt then our percentage error will be 80 minus 10 Minus hundred divided by hundred. In that case, percentage error will be changed to minus twenty percent. That means your percentage error value may be positive or negative, depending upon the value you are getting after measurement. Clear? This is something similar to relative error where we perform the same kind of operation to find the error between the measured value and true value. Now let us understand this concept with a problem solving. See, the ammeter and voltmeter resistances are 0.1 ohm and 2000 ohm. This is the ammeter and a resistance is connected in series with the ammeter another resistance is connected in series with the voltmeter these are called the internal resistances of the instrument and the reading of the ammeter is 2 ampere and the voltmeter is 180 volt so what is the objective of using this ammeter and voltmeter to measure the value of this resistance r so as we know from ohms law v equal to i r that means r is equal to v by i so in this ammeter voltmeter method voltage is given by this voltmeter is 180 volt and current is 2 ampere so that resistance will be obviously 90 ohm that is the resistance is showing 90 ohm and given in the question like that now the question is what is the percentage error in the measurement that means there is some sort of error is involved in this reading now we have to find what is the real value of the resistance because whenever the reading is wrong that means our calculated value that is 90 ohm is also wrong that means the resistance r is not equal to 90 ohm it is something different another thing you have to learn from this question is that ammeter resistance is low and voltmeter resistance is very high now understand this question or the diagram in a better way this is the same diagram that is given in the question like this see the voltmeter is connected in parallel like here in this diagram and the ammeter is connected in series with the supply if this is a supply the source current that is coming from the supply through the ammeter is 2 ampere that's why i have written here i equal to 2 ampere ammeter resistance is 0.01 ohm voltmeter resistance is 2000 ohm these are connected in series as i have said earlier like in the diagram because these are the internal resistances of the meters now whenever 2 ampere current is coming to this particular node 
now it is branching into two different current one is going to the voltmeter another is going through the resistance r so we can write i is equal to iv plus ir as the voltmeter reads 180 volt that means the voltage across this node is 180 volt so iv should be 180 volt divided by voltmeter resistance that means 2000 ohm and this is equal to 0 0.09 ampere so the current that is passing through the resistance r is equal to ir is equal to i minus iv that means 2 minus 0 0.09 that is 1.91 ampere now the voltage across this particular bench is also 180 volt so that the resistance r is equal to 180 volt divided by ir so this is equal to 94.24 ohm this is the true value of this resistance r so the percentage error is equal to measured value minus true value divided by true value into 100 percent so measured value is equal to 90 ohm this is given in the question and true value is equal to 94.24 ohm and the true value so this is equal to minus 4.5 percent error so this is the procedure by which we can determine the value of percentage error of this kind of combinations another thing that I have mentioned earlier that is why the ammeter resistance is so low and the voltmeter resistance is so high because whenever current is coming from the supply source then if the ammeter resistance is very high then here will be a lot of voltage drop that means there will be a lot of voltage drop across the ammeter so the ammeter resistance is minimum and very small again the voltmeter resistance is very high because if the voltmeter resistance is low then maximum num amount of current will try to flow through this voltmeter path like this and the less amount of current will flow through the load load means our domestic load like fans light motors so if this kind of loads gets small current then will it able to work certainly not that's why the resistances of ammeter is very small and the voltmeter is very high i think the concept of percentage error is quite clear to all of you if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section below